Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, just to go over a little bit of the last couple of weeks uh, concerning the very last step of what I was trying to do with Python, um, specifically developing a GUI environment that I wanted to get deployed on on um, uh, something like WordPress using it as a web front end. Um, I've looked at some charting packages that I promised to do a few weeks ago concerning AM charts and high charts. Um, sadly, a lot of those are not as advanced as I want them, wanted them to be. Um, I had real issues trying just to do basic things to load up an external data source, either a CSV, a JSON, and the documentation was just not sufficient as an example to use. I used a lot of different uh, resources, still couldn't get anywhere. So I figured, I found a couple of comments saying they couldn't figure it out either, so they dumped both. So I was still trying to hang on to maybe, just maybe with Python had something for a universal GUI environment. Um, there's a couple of choices. There's Tinter, T K I N T E R, uh, Glade, uh, and another one. These are all open source. Um, these are not really sponsored by a company. Um, the problem with these type of libraries, namely, I guess in Python, is that they're just. When I played with a lot of them, especially the rapid application development environments. They were just full of bugs. I'm not here to knock any particular one, and they're pretty hard to pull it off, um, but they're just kind of counterproductive for my needs. I mean, I'm not looking for Visual Studio quality. Qt Designer was was good Cute for Qt uh, 4, um, but you know my opinions on Qt, but I'll address that in a minute. So that came back to the good old, what do I do? What do, How do I get around this? So. Um, hopefully some of you know, I, I've been looking at and eyeing, obviously C++ is the, as the ultimate programming language to build out these sort of things and still using Python as a way to pi uh, pump or push uh, data into a, a, a database, um, do some basic logic for trading. And I think Python probably is number one for that. I think it's number one as a shell scripting language instead of just a traditional bash uh, itself. Um, it's quite good. And I think um, I'll definitely continue to use Python for that. But as we evolve looking for a way to universally build out a GUI environment, it's a struggle. I mean, if you're staying in the world of Windows, bar none, C Sharp is the king in that field uh, with Visual Studio. And that is a really great, great tool. and some awesome charting packages that I've seen on Windows. But over the last couple of months uh, with Windows 10 and the, 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 the progress that that's been going down, I think Microsoft's really dropped the ball there. Um, and I, as you can tell on my Mac, uh, I am now on Mac and looking at my, anything non-Windows, non-Microsoft, non.net, nothing against these technologies I've survived and thrive off of it and uh, it's just less things to worry about when it comes to to maintaining an operating system I've had virtually zero problems with Mac and when I do I just go run over for a 15 minute uh, jaunt at the, my local mall and yell at Apple what the hell <laughs> and I got good service for that so it's good for that um, anything else just doesn't cut it in my mind uh, especially now um, with where I'm at so because of that, I've been looking at obviously C++ and I've been looking for some good charting packages and C++ and I found this one. I've known about this one for a while. Um, just to show you just a general idea, chart director is quite good. Um, there are a lot of um, capabilities with it. You can build out some basic finance um, charting and I think this is great for basic stuff. So let me just show you the price. Um, it's really, 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 really uh, expensive. $149 US. That's a pretty good for what I'm about to show you. So when you go into download, there's different bindings for, 
for this chart director. Namely, you can uh, bind it to ASP, .NET, Java, Cold Fusion, PHP, Perl, Python, Ruby, and of course C++. Now, the beauty of using something like C++ chart director, non-Microsoft C++, non-Qt C++, we're dealing with real native C++. This is pretty nice. So, you see, you get a Windows, Linux, free PSD, woohoo, because I like my free PSD as well, and of course Mac OS X. So, I'm hoping. <laughs> That this is true cross-platform because if, if I just keep out the Microsoft stuff uh, between Mac OS X and Linux and even BSD, which is awesome, uh, the ability to do that is great. And um, uh, I think as long as I'm staying with my GCC compiler, I should be okay. So let me show you um, what I found with this particular version when you download the OS X. So here, what you get is you get different um, examples, and I can tell a project if it's really good or not. They come under here under C CPP demo, all any of these. Um, so let's say you have Candlestick. Um, if you uh, pick off, oh, let me show you a better one. If I come under Finance here, um, actually, let me just probably do it on the command line here in a terminal. So let's say I go into Candlestick. Okay, so Candlestick here. You can see I've got the CPP, the C++ source. We've got a make file. Not only that, they pair up all the necessary dynamic link libraries that you need to make a compile right as soon as you download it out of box, which is fantastic. And that right there says high quality to me. So all I gotta do is just do a make on that project and because uh, everything's made uh, using this make file, uh, you can then create your candle, uh, candlestick BIN file or equivalent of a EXE in Windows. So here, this candle uh, right here, uh, you just go candlestick, run it, and it will generate a new PNG file for you right here. You can take a peek at it. So let me just show you that. Um, let's see, am I under, I'm on, not under the right directory, okay, we want this one, okay, so this is what we just created right here, so there's our candlestick, which is pretty basic, nothing exciting, don't get all hung up on it, you're not going to need a uh, arts degree to create that, but if you come under finance, there's some nice ones. Um, so we have here uh, this one. Now again, this is just straight up C++, no QT, okay? Um, so you got this one. You can add in some technical indicators as well as you can tell momentum, SMA, Bollinger. Uh, there's some other samples here. We got this one. Here it shows uh, percent D, stochastic, slow kick, stochastic, exponential, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, we've got one last um, example here as well. And uh, with, with your candlestick, here you have some little up and down arrows for buying and selling, which is kind of nice. Um, volume and all that standard stuff within RSI if you want as well. So that's not too bad. Um, I think there was another one that looks pretty good somewhere down here. Uh, I'm just trying to remember what it was called. Oh, uh, yes, called Trendline. So we want trend, trend, trend. Here it is. No, this one. So this is pretty good. So you got your little price and blah, blah, blah. You can have it automatically draw a trend line. And some other stuff too. So that's pretty good. Um, as I said, don't get too excited. But for what it can do, for the price, is pretty good. So uh, let me see if I can find the examples. Okay, so we have C++. So we've got um, chart gallery here. Uh, another chart I'm looking at that I like, that I definitely need, is this one here, the combo charts. 
Um, and uh, showed you the finance charts. So you got some 3D stuff going on, area charts, some for under fifty dollars. It's a pretty good deal. Um, okay, let's see here. C plus plus. So here we've added some other more sophisticated demos. Uh, these are all, as you can say, self-contained, which they are. We also have Qt um, and MFC, but that's Microsoft uh, Foundation class, so we don't worry about that. But the Qt is interesting, uh, even though my opinion on it. But uh, if you come under here, actually under Qt demos, um, right here, you'll find some interesting stuff. Finance demo, probably more sophisticated. QT demo, retail, real time demo, and some real time demo. So I'm going to try to load up a, a, a local a QT environment in my Linux, see what these things look like as well. So there will be a second part. Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so here I am in a virtual machine with uh, Ubuntu Linux. So what I've done is I've taken the same chart director and uh, I've got it working under QT. Surprise, surprise, it's actually working today. I found some tips on how to properly load up QT, um, but I'm using QT4, okay? Not QT5, I was, I was strongly recommended not to use QT5, lots of problems. So here's some of the highlight um, demos I wanna show. So in this case, we we're gonna look at uh, a couple of more advanced uh, features with Qt that you do not get with the standard other demos I've shown for Chart Director. So let me just uh, try to um, figure out how to do this. All right. So let me build this guy. Uh, question is, how do I? Okay, um, I'm gonna close up all these projects, save all, and I am going to close these projects as I said. Okay, so I'm gonna go under an open new project, come under where I've saved this chart director on the QT demo. So the first one I want to show you is this finance demo. So you gotta load up this uh, PRO file, profile, and uh, basically you can run it. So there you go. Now, this is not bad considering for $150 with Qt. Um, so what we have here is I can load in, let's say IBM, uh, all the standard types of open, high, low, close uh, chart types. So it's, I don't know, candlestick, we can do a comparison to something else. Apple, so we get Apple and IBM somewhere in there. Uh, we have the RSI, um, so we can set uh, Bollinger and some other types of uh, price bands. The Lufin average, which is pretty good. RSI, let's just say we got MACD. Um, we could do, let's see, uh, ATR, I imagine, average true range. There you go. Um, so on and so forth. So you can tell that this works pretty good. Parabolic. Um, and some other stuff that I've shown before. So that's not too bad. Okay, so let me close this one up and show you some other stuff. Um, Where's my close all? Open up the next one. Uh, so with QT demo here, we've got these real time uh, demos. Um, so I'm showing you this one. So let me show you some of the demo ones. They're pretty good actually uh, under QT. Surprise, surprise, they're actually running. So that changes things. First time I'm actually getting QT properly running. But um, you can see here that we got a little chart activity, but I can speed it up if I want to 250 milliseconds. So it's not bad. Um, 
show some potential there. Let me show you another one. Uh, open another project. So we'll do real time track. Okay, run that. Same idea, we can set it to 250. Not bad. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Um, so we want another project open. So let's do the real time scroll. Where's my profile? I think this one had a bug in it. Yeah, that that uh, will compile. Okay, never mind that. So there's some other ones here under track finance. So if you're wanting to track. Uh, like financial data all right on the chart itself. You can do that as you can see here. Um, it's not bad. Also, let me show you some other cool stuff. Uh, now remember this is all done in C++ with Qt. Um, track label. And uh, I'll run that one. Okay, it's building right now. I was gonna watch that in the lower right. And there we go. Same idea, we can track different lines. I'm sure you can add in the real time as well. Um, now we wanna do one more. Okay, so track legend. Actually, no, it's, it's similar to what we shown before, but I will show you um, the zoom ones, which are not too bad. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna run it. Oh. Um, so we're doing zooming. So right now with my mouse, uh, that's what I was showing you before. So you can obviously zoom in and out here or uh, right off your mouse. Okay, so what to do on that. Do one more project for you. This very last one, um, this track two, there it is. Let's uh, run it. Uh, really not much different. But I can't remember, there was one other one I wanted to show. Maybe uh, try one last one. Just XT, XY zoom scroll. Okay, there we go. This is what I want to show. So you could you could pick off. Um, how did it work? Something like that. Yeah, there you go. So I uh, just wanted to show you what you can do. Obviously, you can do uh, surface plots as well, three D stuff. Um, but for now, that's what I'm sticking with. And I think Chart Director is a pretty good one. And surprise, surprise, that I actually got QT working. This really changes my impression of QT. Um, so let me figure that out next set of steps. Talk to you later.